Nanny Maria sent Charles a video of Meg pulled Charlotte's ear, confirmed she's rotten to the core. Recently, the online community stirred up bitter criticism against Meghan after the palace publicly announced that the Nanny Maria had sent Charles a shocking clip. According to the clip, Meghan maliciously approached Princess Charlotte and pulled her ear, while the Princess of Wales was not around her at Queen Elizabeth's funeral. Previously, the online community had posted countless articles revealing Meghan's evil nature and unacceptable actions. Besides, Meghan was also criticised for cruel actions towards her husband, Harry. Recently, the media released photos of his face covered with bruises and even bite marks on his hands. All of this is due to Meghan's abuse and mistreatment of him. All of the top Hollywood celebrities have started to unfollow Meghan on Instagram and other social media sites. No one wants to be friends with her. In other news, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are at odds whether or not to lose their titles after the Netflix series laid bare the worsening relationship between Harry and Meghan and the royal family. Their two-part, six-episode show saw Harry launch more scathing criticism of the royals, even lifting the lid on his feud with brother Prince William, with the relationship between the couple and Harry's family well and truly soured, betting platform OLGB has put the Sussexes losing their titles at 2 to 1 odds. They also price Harry and Meghan to break up at 5 to 1. The couple to relocate back to the UK is at 10 to 1, and Meghan to run for president at a much less likely 100 to 1. Elsewhere within the royal family, King Charles is to abdicate, is priced at 20 to 1 odds. Speculation over whether Harry and Meghan could lose their royal titles has been rife for months now. Earlier this month, a group of Tory MPs even called for the titles to be taken away after the first part of the Netflix documentary series was released. Isle of Wight MP Bob Seeley said Harry and Meghan were trashing the monarchy and announced his plans to bring forward a bill to have their titles removed. He added, There's a political issue here. As well as trashing his family and monetizing his misery for public consumption, he's also attacking some important institutions in the UK. Tim Lofton, MP for East Worthing and Shoreham in Sussex, tweeted at the time that he was ashamed of Harry and Meghan. A shame that they bear the Sussex title. He said, As a member of Parliament for a Sussex constituency, and having been born in Sussex and lived most of my life here, I am ashamed that this deeply embarrassing couple bear the title of our great county. It's time to take the titles back. While some Tory MPs were eager to strip Harry and Meghan of their titles, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak appeared to dismiss the idea. When asked whether the Prime Minister would back such a proposal, Downing Street said in a statement, I believe you're referring to a private member's bill which we do not support. While the Sussexes have been met with a mixture of backlash and support for the Netflix show, Harry is far from done when it comes to speaking openly about his views on life within the royal family. Harry's memoir Spare will be released on January the 10th, meaning he could once again take aim at the royal family over their treatment of Meghan. He'll also speak to ITV in an interview to promote the book. Tom Bradby will conduct the interview. He's the journalist who asked Meghan whether she was okay during the Sussex's tour of South Africa back in 2019. The publishers of Spare have built up the book as a landmark publication that will tell Harry's story with raw, unflinching